After serving three years in the Korean War and spending less than a week working on the assembly line at Ford Motor Company, Barry Gordy Jr. decided he wanted to open his own record company. In 1959, Gordy Jr. approached his family in need of seed capital. Along with his seven siblings and his parents, Gordy Jr. created a family fund dubbed Bearberry in which they deposited $10 a month. Of the fund's operation, Gordy Jr. once recalled, it was easy to put money in, but impossible to get it out. A withdrawal from the Bearberry Fund required a unanimous agreement from the entire family. Fortunately, Gordy Jr. was successful in his pitch for the 1959 loan and walked out of the family meeting with $800. He paid this back a year later with 6% interest, and 30 years later, he sold Motown Records for $61 million. With his initial $800 loan, Gordy Jr. put a down payment on the two-story house located at 2648 West Grand Boulevard. He named the house Hitsville and intended to turn it into a music factory. He wished to take an assembly line approach in his production to turn aspiring singers into superstars. Upon purchasing the property, music production work began promptly. Curtains from a theater were used to soundproof the room, and his father's plastering company helped to fill in cracks and fix holes in walls. The house boasted an attached photography studio, which was later converted into the famous Studio A, in which early Motown superstars recorded. Gordy Jr. took up residence on the second floor of Hitsville, where he lived from 1956 to 1959. In the years following the original purchase of Hitsville, Motown would expand across a total of eight neighboring properties along West Grand Boulevard. All of the properties were former residential houses. They were repurposed to hold a particular Motown business or production-related offices supporting the Motown label, as well as the company's numerous sister labels. At the time, DJs could only play three songs per record company per hour. To circumvene this limitation, Gordy Jr. created 32 different record labels, all under the umbrella of Motown. He often sent seemingly random people to deliver records to disc jockeys as a means of disguising his ruse.